All right, we are tracking severe weather, uh, not affecting our area, but I do want to talk about it. Yes, it is 3 in the morning, but uh, we ha have a tremendous amount of power outages going on in Ohio right now. 365,068 people without power. And some counties, like Knox, are almost in a complete blackout, uh, as we've seen tremendous damage. Perhaps the transmission system has been damaged in these areas as well. Uh, due to these storms and uh, looking at the radar now you can see this is a derecho type situation and there was one derecho that moved through uh, and now it looks like we have another derecho that looks like it's approaching parts of of ohio here uh, and i'm sure that there are severe thunderstorm warnings out for these storms i could see excessive heat warnings also in ohio we're kind of Getting into Ohio now, and let's see what we got. Severe thunderstorm watches. Um, that's Indiana. Let's see if we can get to the weather and hazards map here. This probably would help sort things out a little bit here. Uh, so, yeah, we do have severe thunderstorm warning in effect for uh, a uh, what's a severe thunderstorm watch. Should be. There's also flash flood warnings in effect for much of Ohio here um, as well as excessive heat warnings as well so uh, people are not going to have power uh, after these storms and there's going to be excessive heat going on in this area as well I think that looks like a severe thunderstorm warning to me I don't know why it's not coming up as one um, there's also a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for this area as well uh, as they're dealing with these storms there's a tremendous amount of lightning uh, with these storms you could see uh, this cell here, uh, which is further down, this wound up hitting Indiana. Uh, this this line here in, the, in Indiana, this one is hitting uh, Ohio. And you could just see all the lightning strikes. It's crazy. And just to show you how bad it is, let's look at this here, and you'll see what I mean. Just playing a brief clip here, you can see it's strobe lightning, constant strobe lightning. This is from Fosteria Park, and you can see it's just constant strobe lightning here. Uh, going on here this, uh, storm here and look at that I mean just gives you an idea of what's going on over there it's like non-stop lightning uh, it's absolutely insane to see that and we're seeing this more and more with these storms uh, we see this non-stop lightning uh, going on um, that is the virtual rail fan camera which I'll put a link to below uh, West Virginia now starting to see power out of just 274,000 in in some counties as well these storms have strong straight line winds with them. There's lots of lightning, flooding. Indiana has 72,000. Uh, uh, they're not quite as bad as Ohio. Um, you can see how, how far this stretches. And this is all, again, let's get to the radar here. This is the line right here moving into Ohio. Um, let me, let's put this in the motion here so you can get an idea of what this looks like here. And we'll just show you. I know it gives you a future radar too. It just gives you an idea. This is like a derecho type storm here that we're seeing. And you can see this was the first one here that kind of came through here. Um, if we uh, go to the radar rewind here, uh, let's go to the Ventus sky here for a moment. And you'll see. I mean, luckily it's not lining up to hit our area. Uh, but uh, if we go over here, you'll see. We can rewind this to around midnight. And you can see. Uh, this was the first retro that kind of came through here, uh, or Mesostale. It's, you can see it's got that look, that retro look to it. So that's the first one kind of weakening a little bit. It's still kind of causing damage, but then you have this one down here as well uh, that's in um, northern Ohio. Uh, and let's now go to the... Um, um, weather and hazards map again and we're just gonna look at some of these observations in some of these areas that have been getting hit by these storms to give you an idea of how strong the winds were when they did hit uh, some of these hard hit areas of Ohio um, let's see if we can find some observations here for some of these hard hit areas let's see so right now they're not reporting too much wind but let's see if we can go back here and give you an idea of when what those kind of winds were when these storms did move through. All right, there's one with a wind gust of 21. That's not too bad. And I got to look at the power outage map and see where are the hardest hit counties 
looks like toward the center of the state. Like I said, Knox County, um, to the center of Ohio here. Um, so a little further south. Let's see if we can find Knox County. Now we have some stations here. Let's see if we can find, just to give you an idea of some of these wind gusts that have come through here. Um, oh, yeah, here you go. Here's some wind gusts that came through. Those don't look too bad, though. Um, let's see if we can get some storm reports from Knox County, at least. We'll, you know, we'll Knox County, Ohio. Let's see if we can get some observations here from this airport and see uh, what they were reporting here. So let's see with the wind gusts. Um, yeah, nothing really showing up with the wind gusts, but you know it caused a lot of damage, but nothing, you're not seeing too much. I don't know, maybe it was the lightning that caused all these outages. I'm not seeing any strong wind gusts here. Now, the weather service was Cleveland, Ohio, um, but we don't really have any storm reports yet from this area uh, as far as strong winds go. Um, but you can see there are a bunch of special marine warnings. Um, but again, I don't really see anything I mean, there are a lot of these areas that got hit very hard by these storms, but again, our new Philadelphia, all right, that one looks like it's knocked out. So let's see if there was, if that was reporting anything, probably Fort Lost Power. Um, nope, that one's not reporting anything. Let's see, 68 Mansfield. Thunderstorm in the vicinity. I'm looking for some wind gust reports, but we can't find it. They, did, you can see they did get a lot of rain, though, out of it, so... One thing we can do, maybe we can do this. Hold on. Let me go to the weather and hazards map. And I think maybe this gives a... We can have a peak wind gust option. And let me take all these shades off here or change the opacity. Let me take these shades off. How about that? Uh, historical. We'll go to the wind gust. See if it... Yeah, this will give us a wind gust. Let's see if we can get some wind gust observations here and see if... So let's see here. Let's move this back. It's back to like 13. Yeah, we'll do this. Give it a day. See, I don't see anything here. Crazy. I don't see any. This must be lightning damage from the slick. I'm not seeing a lot of strong winds here with this. But on some of the videos I've seen of the storms. All right, hold on. This went. Move this. Let's see if it'll... It's not showing any really strong winds here. Which is kind of surprising because in the videos I've seen of these storms hitting, uh, there were some strong winds. So this is kind of uh, perplexing to me. While well, we're not seeing these wind gust numbers update properly. Um, this is definitely wrong. <laughs> Definitely wrong here. Yeah, it's not refreshing at all. So we're going to try Wonderground and see if that'll help us. And maybe we can find out what's going on here. And I just want to know what's going on in this area because there's a lot of power outages um, for these storms. And unfortunately, no wind gusts being, re no wind gusts being reported in this area. Um... I could look at this station here and see if any wind gusts were reported here. But again, they're not. We don't know what caused all these power outages, uh, but we do have a significant power outage situation here uh, in Ohio going on. So we don't know what, what caused all these outages. If it was wind, lightning, uh, we can't really find out that much information. We do have one news story here that severe thunderstorms brought damage. Uh, and this is just talking about the amount of power outages that are being reported in Ohio right now. Um, trees down. So there were strong winds. So apparently, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, that they had some strong winds. But again, we don't have any numbers for wind gusts. The Weather Service is not providing any. And uh, I would like love to t tell you those numbers. But again, you know the way it is with getting weather data. Uh, the Weather Service does not make it easy. And like I said, a lot of the times you're just not, they're just not on the ball with stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is a classic example of that. Uh, them not giving us the wind gusts, uh, for these, uh, sites. 
All right, here's Augusta 44. So this is Mansfield. So it gives you some some idea of what the kind of winds these storms are bringing. I'm really curious as to, as to how strong these winds were in these storms. But, again, we cannot find out that information. So that is going to be it for this update on these storms. Again, these storms still going strong here. Look at all these lightning strikes. Uh, it's pretty insane. Uh, it just goes to show you how much energy is in the atmosphere. This extreme heat and humidity uh, is causing that. And I'm glad we're not getting affected. But, hey, parts of Pennsylvania are. Uh, so it's close enough. But, luckily, it's moving off to the southeast. Uh, and we're not going to be in line for any of this. Uh, but that is going to wrap up this uh, update here on the storms in Ohio and vicinity. Thank you for watching.